Hello guys, it's STEM Boy, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a more advanced version of a search engine we made in the last video in MIT App Inventor 2. Let's begin. So if you haven't made the search engine, uh, you can see the last video. I will provide a link for it in the description. If you have, click on the project of the search engine, click save as and make a copy of it. I'm going to name it search2. Now it's opening. Uh, so now we're here. So in search2 we're going to be making a top bar as you can see in Chrome. We're going to make a version of that in search2. So first Go into Vertical Arrangement 2, make sure that's visible, and make Vertical Arrangement 1 not visible. So go Vertical Arrangement 2, drag in a Horizontal Arrangement, and make the Width Fill Parent. And drag the Home button into that Horizontal Arrangement. Actually, take the whole home button out of the arrangement and add in horizontal scroll arrangement and make this with fill parent and then put the home button in all right now that's there we can put in um, a couple of buttons such as the back button to go back on a website, forward button, the refresh button, and let's get the arrows. Arrows symbol. Arrow symbols. We found some arrows. Let's copy those. Control C. And let's paste it here. Didn't seem to be pasted. Let's get arrows text. Unicode arrows. Let's copy this one and paste it. So that arrow, go to the button 4, put the right arrow, and get the reload button. Let's get the reload button text. Reload symbol text. And let's use this one, Control C. And for button 5 text, we paste it. And let's rename all the buttons so we know which is which. So I'll rename it to Home. Back 
reload and let's add in a text box and a another button this button will be search and we can leave that as it is so let's go to blocks actually let's go to text box 2 first let's, let's make the hint uh, type url so let's go to the blocks. So here everything is. But let's update this. So go to text box X1. So let's have this contains and if so if contains text https semicolon slash slash if contains text piece shall be text box one text then duplicate call yeah then let, let's Add an if else if one and let's say it does not contain actually else else join. Call web one, go to URL, join. Let's move it down so it's easier to see. Uh, text box one text here and duplicate this to HTTPS and so yeah so if it doesn't have the HTTPS uh, it will add it in if it does it won't and it'll just go to the website and uh, let's delete this okay yeah that's that's the one and then now for the other buttons they are quite easy to make so uh, let's get the other buttons home we already did home so we can do back one back click web viewer one go back when forwards click call web viewer one go forward and um when reload is click Web Viewer 1 Reload And for the text box 
the when button to click. Uh, we can duplicate it, the one that we had before. Duplicate this, put it here, and switch the text box to text box two, text box two. And yeah, that should be our more advanced version of our search engine. Let's test it out. So now let's test it out. So before we had to type the HTTPS, but now we can just type the link. So let's type YouTube.com. See, and it searches. And you can type a new URL over here. So you can type uh, Bing. Let's type Bing. And if you reload the website, you go back to YouTube, back to Bing. So yeah, that's our more advanced version of the search engine from before. So I hope you learned something new. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Goodbye.